Download now. This is... A young child and a 60-year-old woman killed in a violent head-on collision. We're live in Van Nuys as investigators try to figure out what led to this crash. Plus, the clock is ticking on two major negotiations. Could Hollywood actors and hotel workers go on strike before a deal is reached? And the holiday travel rush is here. Millions of people are heading out for the 4th of July. And from the roads to the skies, we have all you need to know as you get ready for your weekend getaway. And the weather will be perfect as you prepare for those outdoor barbecues. <laughs> Let's get a check now on your next weather with Amber Lee. Friday finally here, 4th of July weekend. Yes, and that summer heat is finally arriving here in the Southland. So uh, we're definitely dealing with hot temperatures, and then it gets extremely hot once you head far inland. So that's why we already have these warnings and advisories. But take a look. This is probably not what you expected when I talked about that summer heat. Well, we do have that June gloom right along the coast for the beaches. Very typical for this time of year, and we're going to continue to see more of it as we head into the holiday weekend, and that's because with the very hot temperatures inland, our ocean waters are still a little bit cooler, so we'll have that June gloom, and then once we head into July, what we call no sky July. Temperatures in the next hour will be about 60 degrees for LA and Orange County. The clouds slowly fading away, and then by the afternoon, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, but take a look at just how hot it's going to get as we head into the weekend. This is why all these warnings and advisories have now been issued because they all go into effect tomorrow. Then that means we're talking extreme conditions for areas like the high deserts and then also portions of the Santa Cruz Valley and then also the Inland Empire. But if you know somebody that has a pool or you have a pool, take a look at your backyard forecast. Temperatures today mainly in the 70s for the coast and for LA and Orange County and then 90s triple digits as you head inland. Kalina. All right, Amber, thank you. And I'm still watching two sing alerts that we have in Orange County this morning. So I'm starting off with an overall look at the area so you can pinpoint other roadways and see if they're slowing down. But right now the big problems on the five and the 91. So starting off with the five, this crash southbound side at Catella carpool left lane blocked off. That's a backup right now out of Anaheim this morning. So you see that big stretch of red as you head in the southbound direction. And then here, this is a fatal crash westbound 91 at Beach Boulevard. Improvements here, though, the right lane and the off ramp are now closed. At one point, all lanes were blocked off. This is causing a backup as you make your way westbound through that stretch. Here's a look at the 405 in Westwood. Uh, looks like both directions not too bad out there. They're kind of hard to see the freeway. It's um, sky cow kind of flying really high up there, but the rest of LA looks pretty good. Although I've been watching the activity through LAX and the surface streets there, that area is busy, but your freeway is so far for this morning. Not too bad. Coming up, I'll take you out to the Inland Empire for travel times there. Marcy, back to you. Okay, thanks, Kalina. A child and a woman have been killed in a violent crash in Van Nuys. At least one other person was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in Van Nuys with details. Cara, good morning. Good morning. Investigators say that little boy was buckled up in a car seat. Sadly, it was not enough to... driver of the white Honda Accord you see was heading northbound on Woodley when they crossed into the southbound lanes, crushing the gray Honda Civic. Four people were inside it, including the woman in her 60s who was killed instantly. The child who was rushed to the hospital, he died there. A man and a woman were also in the car. They are expected to survive. Now, as far as the car that crossed over, there was a man and woman inside it as well. Police say the driver is in critical condition. Investigators were out here for nearly seven hours trying to figure out why they lost control. Detectives were seeing were trying to, you know, piece exactly what happened, and they still need to interview those individuals. So it's too early to say if there were drugs or alcohol involved in this? Yeah, it is unknown at this time just because, you know, they have to interview um, all the individuals. And we don't yet know the names of the woman or the child who were killed or the relationship between the four in that car, but such a loss for their families. Back to you. It is so heartbreaking, Cara. Thank you.
police are investigating a car crash that killed an